hey, guess what? These little guys just showed up. Let's put one of them together. All right, just in case you're not aware of the history of these, uh, a few years ago, we started making bus bars for these uh, headway cells. And we started with this size. This is a 64 amp hour, about 32 cells, right? And the reason why we started with this is because the original project well, had a box, just a typical 12 volt battery box that you can buy uh, in China, right? And so those 32 cells will fit there. But as time went by, then customers uh, started asking for different sizes. So then we decided, just recently decided to make the 80 amp hour, which would, you know, requires, uh, what, another four cells? Another eight cells, right? And so now we make this bus bar for these, this will, uh, whatever, how many cells, and then a lot of people are doing the big the big batteries, which are the 96 amp hours. So I think 96 amp hours is twice as those? I don't know. No, I think it's not. It's not quite twice. But it will require to do 48 cells, right? And so this is where we're at right now. But just recently, uh, there was a few customers that were asking for a smaller one. And then I went on camera and said, well, you know, you can modify, easily modify one of these things and you just cut it. So that's what I did in a video recently. I just took some some metal cutting pliers and then I just cut them, you know, and I made two, uh, a smaller one, which is the 48 amp hour one, and then a, a tiny little one that's over there. <laughs> so, but I also said that we would make those because it's easy to just design this thing and then just print uh, a custom, file and then you can you can make them right so that's where we're at right now this is the 48 amp hour and so this would go over here in the lineup would go there so we have the little one then the regular one and then the bigger one and then the biggest one so let's put one of these together all right so here's the the battery that we built uh using the modified one that i did this is a bit uh famous Infamous? I don't know if it, uh, battery pack because it is contested. Some people don't believe that these are actual uh, use cells that came out of uh, Super Beast, you know, from battery hookup and stuff. But they are, you know, there, there's plenty of evidence. I got, I on camera took this apart and put it together here. Um, but today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, uh, just transfer those cells in here. And this is a production version. By the way, this video is sponsored by PCB Way, our sponsor. And these guys just came to visit me just this weekend. They were here and uh, we went on a ride. They've never been in an electric car. They've never eaten uh, Mexican food. It was the first time in the US. We had a lot of fun. These guys are great. And they sponsor my videos, these videos, where we talk about PCBs, right? It's an organic way of uh, making uh, a sponsored video because every YouTuber out there gives you a bunch uh, bake in ads of like all kinds of nonsense, right? And I never do that. If you watch my videos, I don't really tell you to go buy, you know, Squarespace or whatever, any of those nonsense, right? I, the only sponsor that I have in this channel is PCB Way because I, half of my videos in this channel lately are about PCB. So, okay, it's just the most organic way that you can get this. So let's put this together. We're gonna take this apart. I'm just gonna time lapse and then put this one together. Now that we have this uh, battery built and stuff, um, I want to talk about, uh, we're getting a lot of questions about how to connect the balancers on here, right? These don't, usually for audio uh, applications, you don't, you can't put a, a BMS because it requires too much power. And so the BMS either has to be super large, really expensive, and it doesn't make sense to use it, right? So what is happening is that people, what they're doing is they're using half of the BMS. The BMS, it's a switch that connects and disconnects battery and then a balancer. And so there are just regular balancers. This one is a meter balancer and it's really good. You put it on top here and this one has a screen and it shows you exactly what the voltage of each cells are, right? This is a 4S uh, cell, right? Um, 
uh, battery pack. So there's only four cells, even though there's a bunch of them here, they're all connected in parallel doing the same thing. So only four cells, one, two, three, four. And by the way, when we say uh, cell number one, you always start with the negative. This is the most negative. Then this one connects to this one. And then this one connects to this one. This one connects to that one. This is cell number four. And this is cell group number four. All of these cells are group number four. The ones next to it, three, two, one. This is how this works. Always start with the negative. So when you come in here, Oh, by the way, so the balancers come in many shapes and forms. This one's a little balancer with a screen. This one doesn't have a screen, but it does a higher uh, amperage or balancing, right? And it also does way more cells. Look, each one of these cables is one cell. So this one will do, what, up to 24 cells, right? This is four cells. This one will do the 24. So this is for like a, lot, a big battery pack that is high voltage. Also, this one is the same, right? But they're all the same. They all have these cables that are connected into the battery terminals. And they're connected usually in the same way, right? So you, each cell has to have a, a cable connected in here. So with the way you do it is you start with uh, B minus. This is battery minus. So this is battery pack. So this is the minus, this is the negative. So this is cell number one, right? So the black cable would go on here. And then the next cable on here is usually called something like B1 or C1, center tap, right? I like to call them C1s because they're center taps, but this particular model calls it a B1. So the B1 is the first red one here, and that one's gonna go on the positive side of cell number one, right? And it goes in here on this side. But this, uh, this, this cell is connected to this one, so the positive, uh, the terminal that's positive on this cell is also negative of the next one, right? So then the third cable, this cable here, here, goes in the positive of the second cell. So this is the second cell, so this is the positive side of the second cell. Now this also is the negative of the next cell. And then the next cable here goes to the positive of the third cell, which is here, the third cell, then you connect it in here. And then the last one is gonna be connected to the main positive. So this is the, the, the fifth cable right here, it goes connected into the main positive. You only need a balancer that can support four S, right? You could use this one in here, put it in there, and you just, you know, uh, ignore all the other cables. I think there's a way, some of these require you to like short out the rest of these, and some of them you can just leave them alone, depends on the model of balancer that you're getting. But basically, the black cable goes here, the second cable goes in here, the third cable goes in here, fourth and fifth. And that's how you connect these balancers on these batteries, right? Hopefully this is uh, serious, I don't know, easy to understand. Um, I wish I had a little connector sort of like in my other batteries. This one right here, for example, has a little connector and all you have to do, it's all that's worked out there, it's labeled and it even has a, uh, a diagram in there for people that know how to read diagrams and stuff. And then you can connect your balancer in here. But the, the reason why this battery is able to do that is because it's got all the terminals in the same board. And so I can run all those lines into a, a simple connector. On this one, it's all the, all the cell terminals are spread over two boards, the top board and the bottom board. And so we would have to have cables going, no matter what, have to have cables going from the top board to, to or the bottom board to the top board. And it just makes it a little bit more complicated to do that, right? So maybe in the future, I'll find a way to make the, putting the balancer a little bit easier, right? Something that you could just plug in kind of thing. But for right now, that's what, how you have to plug them in. Uh, B minus. Second cable, third cable, fourth cable, fifth cable. That's how you connect those. All right, another reminder is that you gotta use a two gauge cable. This is a two gauge cable in here, and you can put a bunch of them. On this one, you can put like eight of them or nine of them on this side, right? Um, I've heard, we heard from some customers that are saying, yeah, how do we can use two gauge cable because our amps uh, have a zero gauge uh, power ports, right? And I'm like, what? Of course you can. I guess people don't know that two two gauge cables equals one zero gauge 
uh, cable, right? So it's the same amount of copper. Here's a zero gauge ferrule. And let's say that this is your amp has uh, holes like this, right? For zero gauge, then uh, sort of like this one too. Then you can just put it in there. Right, and then you just tighten that. And now that's your zero gauge cable coming out of your amp. And then these two cables, you cut them there and then now you use two ports. Now when you're putting this, if you have two cables, we uh, recommend on a battery this size and if you're trying to pull like 500 amps or something, about seven, you know, anything, anything above 5,000 5, watts uh, to use several cables instead of one big one, right? Of course, because you can't use a big one here. So if you use one, there's gonna be two. And if you're gonna only be using them in a minimum of two, then don't put two right here next to each other on the side of the battery. Put them in the middle, so spread them up. So do one here and then do one there so that all these cells have uh, a chance to evenly spread the load through all those cells, right? So because we're exactly where you put it, you put it here, these two cells are, are gonna take the brunt of that. But all these other ones are helping, right? So you don't wanna put them right here because then all the, uh, electrons have to flow from all the way over here to, to this side and this whole thing is gonna, you know, these two cells are gonna be uh, stressing more than the rest of them here, right? So you spread it out as much as you can and this is how you do it. If you have zero gauge equipment that you're powering, just use two cables that are coming out of your battery here into each one of those. This is how you do it. All right, short video today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. One, come forward and praise me. Let me hear you say, All Hail Megatron. Yes, excellent. Round of applause for this tiny human. Well, then, my ranks, I look forward to seeing what you can do on the battlefield. Ah, I see you come with your own ride. They try to give me your hat. I only, I'm missing half my face. I don't think it will quite fit. All right, guys, let's out here for photos. Right you hold on to that. Right here, let's out here for photos. Look forward, little one. Ready, one, two, three. Perfect. We had a small window to get that photo. Farewell, my little Decepticon.